Hey YouTube, it's Don here. I just want to give you guys a quick video. Um, and this video is going to be about the perfect weapon for every situation. And I say that with a little sarcasm in my voice because there isn't one. I also want to talk about the, the perfect type of bullet for every situation because there isn't one. Uh, sure, there are bullets out there that do better than others. Just like there's, you know, different kinds of weapons that do better than others in different situations. The main point is you got to find what situations you run into most. If you're out and about all the time, you know, you're a woman, you're a man, doesn't matter. But if you're out and about a lot, obviously you're not going to be able to carry a shotgun or a semi-automatic rifle. You're just not. And if you do, uh, good luck to you because you're probably going to get hassled a lot by the police if you're even allowed to do so. Uh, in the state of Washington here, you can, but I don't. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, you're going to get hassled quite a bit, and you're going to upset a lot of people. So, And you're just going to bring a lot of unnecessary, unwanted, and unneeded attention to yourself. And you just don't need that. You don't need to paint that target on your back. So, that being said, granted, the pistol, a good quality, reliable, semi-automatic pistol, not revolver, and I'll get to that, is going to suit you well in 9 out of 10 10 uh 9 out of 10 situations it's, it's going to take care of whatever threat you need to take care of um and what i mean by 9 out of 10 times is because again it's not perfect it's pretty damn good at what it does and the purpose it's used for but it's not perfect no weapon is perfect and let's just make that as clear as it can be all right um the reason why i didn't say revolvers is because they have what I believe to be a limit that can potentially really be deadly to you. And what I mean by that is the lack of ammunition it carries. You know, uh, even, you know, the smaller caliber revolvers. Mm -hmm. um, and also the follow-up shots. You know, if you're carrying, if you're packing a three fifty seven or a forty four uh, with a shorter barrel, <laughs> good luck with follow-up shots. That, those things kick like horses. And, and you know, with every shot you take with that, you know, with my nine, I could probably get six or seven shots out for every one shot you take with one of those hand cannons. So that's what I mean by that. So a good, reliable, semi-automatic pistol, whether it be a nine, forty, or forty-five, those are the three most common calipers um, that I would suggest to use. I would favor nine, but... You know, you got those 40 guys out there, you got those 45 guys out there, you got those, you know, even 10 millimeter guys out there. And, you know, whatever whatever you're most proficient with, you should use. And that's the most important thing. Whatever you feel most proficient with for your day-to-day -day carry, um, from a pistol standpoint, that's what you should use. And that's going to serve you well. And, and I, I highly recommend um, that you continue to do so. Uh, for your safety and the safety of others that you care about. So coming to more home defense, uh, that's why I kind of have these rifles out here. Because, well, shotgun and rifle. That's why I have uh, these two weapons sitting in front of you. Because these are types of weapons that will suit you much better than a pistol in a, in a home type protection situation and or property type protection situation. Meaning that these weapons can reach out and touch someone a lot more so than a pistol and more accurately. And they carry a lot more power than a pistol. So, you know, given obviously my shotgun's like six and one, I think, or five, no, it's five and one. Um, and so that, that has its limits, you know, and re, and, re, and reloading it quickly, you know, that's a little bit of a struggle i mean i gotta practice you gotta practice 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 with loading shotguns it's just the way it is even a semi-automatic shotgun um you know uh then you go over to my ak i have to practice a lot with reloading that because it is a different type of manual of arms than i'm used to coming from the marine corps you know it's it's just different it's not anything i can't get as proficient with but I know that I'm always going to be faster with an AR than I am with an AK as far as reloading. Um, 
That's just, again, goes down to practice. But these two weapons um, are the weapons that I would recommend. And I'm not saying, you know, the AK is better than the AR. I'm saying if you have an AR, cool, rock it, you know. Um, I like ARs too. Probably going to buy one. Aero Precision. <laughs> I just, and I like those weapons because they're affordable and they're good quality weapons. And that's why I said Aero Precision. I'm not trying to name drop like I think that's the best AR out there. So don't, don't twist my words. So, anyway, uh, these weapons particularly, I believe, are really, really good for home defense and property defense. And again, they're more stable, they're more accurate than a pistol, and you can carry more, well, at least in the semi-automatic rifle realm, you can carry more bullets than you can in a pistol. Um, shotgun, not so much, unless you own like a Sega or an AA-12 or, <laughs> or something with a drum magazine, then yeah, okay. But most of us don't. So, anyway, um, I just am trying to get you guys to understand that, you know, it doesn't really matter the type of bullet. I think the type of bullet matters more when it comes to a pistol caliber uh, than it does a rifle. Um, unless shotgun, because birdshot obviously has its limits. Um, and I that's why I don't use it. Um, unless I'm going skeet shooting, which I don't do. I've got, gone a couple times, uh, but... Obviously, my shotgun is not set up for skeet shooting. It's set up for defense. So, that's why I go with double out buck and slug. My AK, obviously, you know, it's set up for 0 to 300 yards. Because after 300 yards, I don't see a point in trying to engage a target out, or a threat out that far. It's just not a good idea. Because your chances of missing are a lot higher. And not only that, you allow that threat now to know where you're at. So if you can avoid a fight, I would say do that first. Especially, you know, when you're in a civilian type situation. That doesn't mean, and, and even a shit hits the fan type situation, you know. You want to keep as low profile as you can. And you don't want to fight unless you absolutely have to. And that's just how I think. And if you're one of those that think you're going to be out there running and gunning and shit hits a fan type situation, you're wrong. Because, you know, who knows what you're going to encounter out there. And it's just better to protect yourself, your family, your home, your land, rather than go out there and trying to be a cowboy. I, I don't recommend it. Especially when you can't just, you know, cell phones and all that stuff probably are not going to be in service. So you're not going to be able to just, you know, call for backup anytime you want, <laughs> you know. Anyway, we're getting, I'm getting uh, sidetracked here. But anyway, for those who are out there trying to just find the all-purpose weapon, you're just not. Again, different weapons serve different purposes. Um, these two weapons do similar things very well. Um, pistols, same thing. They serve a purpose. Uh, I do think that for a primary weapon, obviously, just especially with my background, Marine Corps Infantry, uh, I'm going to pick a rifle and pick a semi-automatic rifle that has a 30-round magazine whether it be an AK or an AR. It just so happens that I have an AK, and that's what I'm going to grab. And that weapon is probably going to serve me very well in any type of situation, even if it's close quarters. So that's just something to think about. You know, there's not a perfect weapon out there. There's not a perfect type of bullet. Um, obviously, hollow points, I think, do better in pistol calibers, in a, you know, coming out of a pistol than they do out of a rifle. Um... I think that, you know, whatever you whatever threat you shoot, whether it be with a slug or an FMJ, you're going to put a world of hurt on that threat, even if you don't kill him with the first shot. I mean, it, at a minimum, you're going to neutralize the threat. I'm not saying kill the, th you know, eliminate, meaning kill the threat, but you're definitely going to put that threat down. Uh, with a pistol, that's where I think hollow points come in and, and favor the pistol a little bit more because... The wound cavity that an FMJ pistol leaves isn't very big, uh, but when you throw in the hollow point um, or those different types of rounds that fragment a lot, they do, they, they do more damage. So they create that permanent wound cavity, um, or they enlarge that permanent wound cavity a lot more than FMJ. Now, because the rifle and shotgun, are those rounds are coming out with a lot more energy and a lot more power you don't necessarily you don't need 
hollow point. You just don't. I mean, and for those of you guys who are gonna say, "Oh, look at a look at a uh, ballistic gel," well, ballistic gel is not real life. It's a close, educated guess, but ballistic gel doesn't have bone. Uh, five layers of denim does not properly. I don't care who says it does not properly replace baggy loose clothing at different angles with wind blowing and all different kinds of crazy shit that go into to, that come into play so yeah it's a it's an educated guess is what ballistic gel and five layers of denim do, does for you um for you hunters and people who have been in combat and been in actual shooting scenarios uh it's pretty interesting what bullets are, will really do in real life and and the the amount of power and energy that they release when they actually hit something so that's something to take into consideration anyway i've been talking for a really long time and i hope you enjoyed my video and i hope you had a good weekend and semper fi